this apple here. Ambrosia. So this is something that people have been asking for for a pretty long time. It's September 3rd, I believe, 2023. And this is gonna be a compiled video of a couple different varieties. But this apple here is called Ambrosia apple. Looks very interesting. Looks very interesting. It looks a little bit like, oh, there's some bug damage on that one. That means I'll pick that one because it won't keep. I can still taste the other side. Now, I don't know. It's probably it probably has some uh, red delicious parentage because of how the bottom looks. And I'm not sure if it's ripe yet. Let's see. Wow. It's a very pleasant apple, but it's uh, very polite. It's not, doesn't have very many like in your face flavors. Kind of delicate, but crunchy. And it does taste pretty good. Sweet, mellow, good apple flavor. Nothing intense or complex. Just very, uh, very mellow, sweet, and pleasant apple to eat. And it's also crispy and looks like it doesn't have a bitter pit looking at the rest of the apples on this branch maybe oh, a little bit just a little bit but nonetheless the bugs didn't really bother this one much some apples really get hit hard this one for the most part looks like the other apples are fine except for the one i picked so that's ambrosia apple i would probably recommend yeah it's a good apple it's a good apple for those that don't like really uh high acidity high acidity or too much complexity sometimes you just want something a little bit on the easier side and this is a nice little crisp apple for you really good this is something that you can probably keep eating you're not going to get sick of it really good I recommend, yeah, Ambrosia. All right, I'm gonna make a real quick video. This variety is called Catherine's Favorite. It's right here, let's taste it. And the texture is a little bit too soft for my liking, even though the skin breaks away and makes it sound crunchy, but it's a little bit soft. The flavor is pretty interesting. It's both sweet and it has some tartness to it. Pretty well ba balanced apple. Um, can't say anything bad about it. Nothing too special. It does get a little bit of bitter pit. My only complaint is it's a little bit too soft for my liking. Oh, that's Catherine's favorite. This is a graft I had of Black Macintosh. Black Mac. They started falling. These are the last two on the tree. So hopefully I don't miss them. So I decided to take a video real quick. Black Mac looks really cool. Look at that.
black Macintosh. Feels a little bit underripe. Some kind of issue on the inside of this. Let's try this one. Yeah, there was more on the tree and they fell off. So I was assuming they were ripe, but maybe you have to keep Macintosh in storage for a little bit for it to mellow out because it just tastes a little bit starchy right now. So I don't know, Black Mac. There's another apple here called Holstein. I don't know if it's ripe or not, but I'm curious. This one is very intense flavor, but it also looks like it has water core. Wow, this is very complex. It's like a spicy, sweet, sour apple. Some sort of complexity to it that makes it kind of spicy. Very interesting. Probably be a cook, good cooking apple. Holstein. This is just so dense in flavor. It has a lot of sweetness and a lot of acidity. But also very complex. Very interesting apple. It almost reminds me of Ashmead's kernel or golden russet, but this is like higher in acidity. Pretty cool. What's on this branch? <clears throat> Lamb Abbey Permain. Wow. I didn't know Lamb Abbey Permain gets that huge. Look how big this apple is. Look at this. Look at that apple. Is that Lamb Abbey Permain? Well, that's pretty cool. Let's see what it tastes like. Looks like it has some bitter pit. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Has a really good balance and flavor. It also uh, seems like it could use a little bit of storage to mellow out. Wow, very interesting, complex flavors. It's a little bit acidic, a little bit sour right now, but the flavors are really good. There's a good balance, there's sugars in here. Also a little bit of tannins, not much, just a small hint. That's good. Lamb Abbey Permain. <laughs>